So I have here a frozen chicken foot. And this is the mat that we let her eat on. Here she patiently waiting for her little chicken foot. Yeah, stay. Ignore the bottle of water on the floor. One of the kids left it there. So what I do is I open it up. Put it on the mat. I try and get it in the center of the mat because we don't want raw food on the floor. But frozen ones are really good for her teeth. See her waiting. They're really good for her teeth. So if you can do a frozen raw meaty bone, that's really good for their teeth. Come on, you guys. Go ahead. Girl, Yazzie. Good girl. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Good girl. what's going on youtube and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before thank you for returning if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you are notified every single time i drop a video and you don't miss not one video everybody in here smash that like button share this video and drop a comment down below during the video after the video before the video whatever you feel let me know what you think let me know what you like about the video let me know what you want to see next you saw by the title and the thumbnail we got a good one so let's get straight into it also you guys make sure you're continuing to watch the ads I know some of them can be a little lengthy but watch them as much as you can for as long as you can it truly does help support the channel and support me it helps me to do this on a more full-time basis and it really does keep me out in the algorithm as I've been and keeps the channel growing I really appreciate it and love you guys let's get back into the groom Okay guys, as promised, I'm going to be showing you all what I feed my dog Yazzy, transitioning her into a raw diet, and just kind of going over what I did, how I transitioned her. I know this is a really good video of her eating the food, and it was going to be an ASMR style at the beginning of the video, but the kids came home from school and ruined that. <laughs> <laughs> they like to come home and debrief about their day so I let them do that and I'm gonna upload a part two of this video because this is just part one I'm gonna upload a part two of this video next week when I do her vegetables her fruits and I'm probably gonna try and squeeze in one of the homemade treats that I make for them and then we'll have an ASMR video in there for sure but this is going to be a simple straight to the point video. I'm going to be explaining what I'm putting in there and why I'm putting in there and what nutrient values they have for a dog to stay healthy and maintain good health. We are working on her allergies right now. As you can see, her paws are slightly red. Her back paws are more red than her front. I do believe she has an allergy to grass, so we're working on her immune system at the moment to get that boosted up. 
and I'm gonna be going over that with y'all in the videos probably not this video because this video is just tailored to the meal prep of how I set up her food for the month the allergies I'll talk about in the next video because that is where I add in her supplements and her vegetables and different things in her food to help with her allergies. So we'll go over that in that video more in depth. But I will say it's helped a lot. Her shedding has almost stopped because she's not supposed to shed. Her itching has decreased drastically and her excessive licking of the paws has decreased drastically, which I am super happy about. But I'll go over what I think she is allergic to a little bit later in the video. So first we're going to be grinding up veal heart and veal heart is really good because it has a nice high dose of thiamine. It also has a nice high dose of taurine. Thiamine is really good because it helps the dog's digestive system to break down carbohydrates and taurine is really good because it helps the heart function normally. Next we're going to be grinding up beef liver and beef liver is really good because it has a really high dose of vitamin A and vitamin A is good for the dog's vision, bone growth, and reproduction. Next we're going to be grinding up beef kidney. Beef kidney is really good for dogs because it has a good dose of iron in it which acts as an antioxidant and it helps to carry oxygen throughout the body. So all of those were the secreting organs in Yazzie's diet. So for dogs, they are to have 80% muscle meat, 10% secreting organs, and 10% raw meaty bones. Now for Yazzie's raw meaty bones, her favorite is turkey necks. So I get a lot of those. This time around, I'm going to be trying chicken necks to see how she likes those. I know they're a little bit smaller, so it may be... A little bit easier for her to chew she does fine with the turkey necks but it takes her a while which I'm okay with because I want her to eat slow and not scarf it down but we're gonna try chicken next this time I'm also trying ground chicken in her food this time I'm testing out to see if her chicken allergy is through raw chicken or was it just the chicken and the dry food that she ate when she was a puppy so I'm gonna be testing that out and then in her next video when I meal prep again I'm gonna go over and let you guys know how the chicken went with her if I still saw her scratching she may have a poultry allergy so the next go around I may just remove all poultry and try different meats so we'll see she also likes chicken feet as you guys saw in the beginning now i will say she doesn't go for the chicken foot like she goes for the turkey neck the turkey neck she takes right out the bowl and like goes nuts with it but the chicken foot she kind of plays around with it at first so it's kind of my guess that she likes it but she can give or take it also, the reason why I had to grind up her organ meat is because Yazzie acts like a little princess even though she is a little mud puddle walking around. The video that you guys saw, she actually had just got groomed probably a few days prior to that, got a bath. She just likes to be dirty. <laughs> so when she comes home, she rubs all around the car on the floor and just smacks at her little ponytail that I try and keep out of her eyes because I'm trying to grow the top of her head. She's just a funny dog. But I have to grind her meat up because she won't eat it by itself. And I don't really blame her for not eating the liver because ugh, I don't even like liver. So <laughs> I don't really blame her. But I know liver is very vital in her diet. So I have to grind it up and mix it in with the meat. In order for her to eat it now in some of these bags you'll see me put in two chicken necks because i feel like it is too small to reach the 10 percent of the raw meaty bone so i'll double it up and put two in and then for the turkey necks i have two packs of turkey neck the one that i cut up and the one that i got from compare food the one that i got from compare food was butcher cut which is not typically recommended with raw feeders because the butcher cut which is this right here has sharp edges on some of them so i'm kind of feeling them around and kind of seeing what i have in there just to kind of make sure it's okay and all of them seemed okay now all of the blood that you see at the bottom of the container that's all the membrane you actually want to keep that because that has a lot of nutritional value for dogs so i did not throw it away i just poured it right into the beef liver and mixed it all around 
So when I'm preparing Yazzie's food, I try and follow the prey model raw. So like I said, that's 80% muscle meat, 10% secreting organs, and 10% raw meaty bones. So for the prey model raw model formula, however you want to state it, they believe that dogs don't eat vegetables or fruits or anything like that because if they were in the wild, they would not be eating that because dogs are actually carnivores. Now, wolves have actually been spotted every now and again to eat grass, but the animals that they eat eat the vegetables and eat the fruits so they get that when they eat them now also if you're going to do the prey model raw diet you actually feed the whole prey animal so you feed a whole rabbit a whole quail a whole duck i i don't have the stomach for that <laughs> so i do a homemade raw diet to try and emulate that prey model raw as best as i can now the reason why i have a scale for when i'm separating the ground meat is because the chart that I put up is what breaks down how I measure out Yazzie's food. So because she's smaller, she eats a little bit more of her body weight percentage a day. So typically you wanna feed two to three percentage of your dog's body weight, but because Yazzie is smaller, I upped it to 4%. Now her body weight is supposed to be around nine to 10 pounds. So I set out what she was supposed to eat and then I took 80% of that for the muscle meat. I took 10% of that for the raw meaty bone and I took 10% of that for the secreting organs. Now, the reason why I put her raw meaty bones in there is because her raw meaty bones has meat on it already and that is part of the muscle meat. So I didn't want to overfeed her. Now, the heart is actually a secreting organ, but it's also classified as a muscle meat as well, but they don't get too much of that anyway. So that I don't really kind of factor into the 5.4 I believe she eats. And everything is measured out into ounces. So if you want to figure out how much your dog weighs, let's say you have a 25 pound dog. They are to eat two to three percent of their body weight. So you figure out how much that is in ounces and then you take that and separate it into 80% muscle meat, 10% raw meaty bone and 10% secreting organ. 5% of that secreting organ has to be liver. It has to be liver. You cannot get out of feeding your dog liver. You always want to have liver in the diet. So when shopping for her food, I did three pounds of ground beef because red meat is really good. I did two pounds of ground chicken. That is the very first time we're trying chicken, ground chicken as a primary food source. And then two pounds of ground turkey. I also, like I said, have turkey necks, chicken necks, and chicken feet for her raw meaty bones and beef liver, beef kidney and veal heart for her secreting organs. And next week we will do the vegetables as well as her fruits and treats. Also for her next meal prep, I am probably going to take you guys shopping with me just to show you all where I get her food, how I find her food. And I'm also going to be buying more from a website that I'm going to review before I tell you guys what it is just to let you know how I like it so you guys can check it out for yourselves. If you are looking to start raw feeding your dog and where you could get good sources of meat from. So the Ziploc bag is 0.10 ounces in weight. So you guys are gonna see me go up to 5.7 or roughly around 5.7 because I have to take away or take into account the 0.10 ounces that the bag weighs. Now the next time I meal prep, I may do it in storage containers. It just depends on the space that I have. The Ziploc bag seemed to work pretty well for space wise because I am not the only person that uses our deep freezer and I don't want to store a whole bunch of dog food in there and have everybody yell at me. <laughs> so Ziploc bags have been pretty decent so far. So next time I may do containers, next time you might just see the same Ziploc bags.
the reason why I chose to feed my dog a raw diet is because she was having issues with all the other foods that I was feeding her even the home cooked food she was doing good on it but I wasn't seeing the improvement in her skin and her coat that I really wanted to see and it was because I was cooking the food all the way through so the cooked food that I started off was for my senior dog which helped him out drastically but I am slowly transitioning him to a raw diet and his transition is a lot slower than Yazzie's transition because he is a senior and he has a heart murmur I actually am going to get his heart murmur rechecked because the last time he was at the vet it was just barely a two it had went down so I'm going to get him rechecked and I'll let you guys know where he's at now how I transitioned Yazzie to a raw diet for one straight week I added a raw turkey neck to her dry food just to kind of see how it would do on her stomach to see how her stomach would handle it because Yazzie has had a sensitive stomach in the past so I was a little nervous but to be honest and to be to my surprise she did fantastic on it so the following week I did almost like a jump into transition of raw feed so the first two maybe three days of the week i was still mixing in some of her dry just because again i was a little cautious because she does have a little bit of a weaker stomach but she did phenomenal she never had any gi issues she never had anything wrong with her and she loves her raw meaty bones and when i tell you she had tartar built up on her teeth there's such a drastic difference from when she started eating the raw meaty bones to her teeth now it is so different how clean her teeth are now she still has some tartar in certain areas that's just going to take some time to work off she's only been on a raw diet i want to say for almost a month now and the difference in her teeth is just phenomenal I recommend everybody to go and do a raw diet if not at least do the research and the knowledge and see what you need to add to your dog's food to enhance their lifestyle and enhance their health enhance their life just in general always go out and do your research do as much research as you can like I did before I made the transition now I will say yes he's a little chunkier <laughs> <laughs> she's a little chunkier so I'm gonna cut down her food in this video I cut down her portions and if it doesn't knock down her weight a little bit more I'm gonna cut it down some more but be careful how much you feed your dog because feeding them can put weight on them and you also want to make sure the fiber is in there so that the food is being digested through the system So now I'm going to go through and add the organ meat. First, I'm going to be doing the veal heart. This is the veal heart. The next one I'm going to be adding through is the beef kidney. And then the final one is the beef liver. Now for her secreting organs, she needed 0.4 ounces. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Now, because I've measured this out in the past, I know that 0.4 ounces measures out to about a teaspoon and a half. But for you guys' purposes, I did bring the scale back in just to show you guys and I took the scale back out.
okay so this is going to wrap up this video this whole meal prep made 29 bags of food so it's good for one month and next week we'll be doing part two which is going to be her vegetables and her fruits so make sure you guys are stay tuning for that i'll catch you all in the next video i really hope you enjoyed this one and drop down in the comments if you have any questions for me you know guys i'm always willing to answer anything Make sure you guys smash that like button, share this video, drop a comment down below, do all that fancy YouTube stuff. I love you guys. Train your dogs for grooming. Make sure you watch every video straight through. Watch those ads. Enjoy the videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Love you guys.